morning everybody it sure is that time of year again toque weather just the light one so far pretty soon we have to break out the heavier wool one yeah. all right so we're in Prada Manitoba I parked over there when we got here last night and then I had a noisy neighbor so I moved over here to this side and then another guy pulled in had another noisy, uh, uh, noisy neighbor not nosy just noisy and I just stayed I'm like ah, I'm not moving again whatever I put up with it it's all right yeah checking oil here my fluids all the tires and then we can get on the road old blue wants to gallop feeling. It's always a happy feeling when the truck starts in the morning. This guy's got some serious tread on his tires. Thanks. often but I'd like to give you guys another reminder that there's scammers that show up in my comment section sometimes posing as me they'll steal my profile picture and they'll have their name similar to mine and they'll be like hey I got a package for you oh I got something special come over here click my suspicious link right like, don't follow them don't listen to them they're scammers they're trying to take your money as fast as you can get them out of there they just create new accounts come back they're a bunch of bots or something that's every youtuber sort of struggles with this just be internet smart in the comment section uh check my username it's got a little check mark beside it and uh if you're wondering if it's me click on the username of the profile that responded to you that left you a reply and if it doesn't bring you to my page it's not me obviously all of my social media is listed below in the description of all of my videos if you get a message from someone on a on another platform and it's not listed below my videos it's not me all of my social media platforms are verified so they've all got the check mark I mean, on, on X, uh, people can buy check marks and still pose as you. It's illegal to do, but well, when does that stop people? Uh, just be very careful. Be very careful on the internet. Uh, don't give anybody money. I'm never going to ask you for money, okay? Don't give these people money. Don't even waste your time talking to them. Just delete their comment or whatever. And uh, most of all, I do not have a Telegram account. I realize that's another big social media platform, especially in Europe, but on the other side of the world. Telegram isn't really a big thing out here in North America. I didn't even know what it was until people started telling me that, asking me if I was on Telegram because they were getting messages from Trucker Josh on Telegram. I don't have a Telegram account, I don't. It's not listed below in my description, therefore I do not have one. So if anyone's trying to tell you that they're me on Telegram, that's not me, <laughs> definitely not me. So just a heads up down below, they've been, they've been doing their thing again. It's very annoying and uh, can't always keep up with it, so internet smart. They can't do anything to you in the comment section, they can just leave you annoying messages. Just verify that it's me if you want, if you want. <laughs> I don't know what else to say guys, I'm sorry about it. Uh, every YouTube channel has to deal with these morons. And, uh, we're doing our best. YouTube is aware of it, so hopefully they'll come up with a solution very soon. And if you're wondering, for some reason, what the check mark is that I talk about, it's a verified check mark. That means that social media platform has verified my my identity. It's verified who I am, and given my account, that check mark said, yes, this account belongs to Josh. It's his account. We'll give him a check mark. They verified I am who I am. So. Uh, that's that's a that's a good way to tell if it's a real account or not because even if it's a fake account and they buy a check mark on X or something the fact that they bought the check mark means that they had to verify their identity to X formerly Twitter I don't know why a scammer would want their identity known like that they get to send in your actual identification so if they're trying to scam you and they got a check well X or Twitter knows exactly who they are at least they're supposed to but that's how that works, so. Just wanted to give another heads up. I've been getting a few emails lately there in the comment section there saying, hey, I got a package for you. No, they don't. They want to take your money. Don't give them your money. 
and definitely don't click any of their sketchy, suspicious links. That's my advice to you. I mean, you can go ahead and click them if you want, but if something bad happens, remember, Trucker Josh said don't click their links. All right, everybody, it's time to get rolling. We're ready to rock. Let's make sure our trailer's gonna come with us. It's coming, and brake check. Trailer brakes work. Trailer's attached. Roll forward, brakes release. We are now ready to enter public highways. It's one thing you want to make sure of when you get on the highways, make sure nothing's going to fall off of your truck, including your trailer. Very important. Looks like it's gonna be a wet day. It was raining overnight. I woke up in the middle of the night to the nice sound of rain falling on the truck. It's beautiful, beautiful. I love falling asleep when it's raining. Turning, wonderful. You saw there's an empty 53 foot step deck behind me. We're gonna go put some lumber on it, some wood, tarp it, take it south into Minnesota. Let's see how their blasting is coming along today. Still working at it. Looks like they've made some progress. Man, that takes a long time, eh? It's a huge process just to make this one little strip of road. That's why like, building a four lane through Northern Ontario would be so astronomically expensive. In my opinion, because I'm a driver who uses them, it would be justified and worth it. But uh, you know, try convincing the, the finance minister of that, right?
just gonna go with 80 liters. When I'm fully loaded, I burn about 35 to 40 liters per 100 kilometers, and it's just over 500 kilometers to get down there. So that should get me two hours down the road, and then I'll be left with the fuel that I have now, right? Which is just below a half tank. That should get me another 350 kilometers or whatever down to Brainerd, and I should still have just below a quarter tank, and we'll fuel up there. Turned up to be 80.08 liters, and that equals 21.155 gallons. 21.155 gallons. It's a partial fill, so I can't get the fuel economy on this one. I can enter it in here to my phone app so that I have the records here in my phone and on paper. All right, I'm here, I'm ready. They're about to start loading me. I believe I have nine 21 foot pieces that they're gonna put on my trailer in a nice little block, probably two, four, six, eight, and then the ninth one on top. So it'll be a nice little, nice little package to wrap up like a Christmas present. Get our tarps on there and we'll be on our way down south into Minnesota. I'll get unloaded today yet. As long as I get there by 10 p.m., uh, they should unload me. So I want to be there by no later than 8, if possible. I don't like cutting it that close. The guys are there till 2 in the morning, and then they stop taking trucks at 10. But I don't like to show up right at the end of the... Unless, I mean, sometimes you can't help it, but... If I have, if I have the option, yeah, I like to get there a little earlier. And uh, it looks like... Uh, it's usually about 2 hours from when I get here to when I leave. I'll be leaving here... Yeah, I'll probably be there around 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's my best estimate, my trucker estimate right now. Let's see how good I am at uh, predicting ETAs. I've been doing this a little while, so I'm not always right. <laughs> we'll see. 7.30 to 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. Another one wrapped up. I'm ready for Santa. Ready to hit the road. Let's go. Take all my Sunday clothes off now. A little bit more comfortable in here. Here. Sunday hat. Whew. Glasses are dirty. Let's wash these, clean these before we go. The guys behind me. They're moving a little slower than I did, so they're not even close to being done. I got my eye on them. I got my whole load tarped, buttoned up, ready to go. And in that time, they put one tarp over their load. They haven't even started bungeeing it yet. I'm glad I'm not behind them. There are people waiting on the other side, but they can't get in until these guys are done. Oh, they're putting the second tarp of three over right now. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they got problems. Maybe they had issues with their tarps or something. Who knows? They looked like they were just fine. The driver behind me was putting his tarps on backwards. He put the first, the front one on first, then he's going to put the back two on after that. And I went there and I tried to explain to him that you've got to start at the back and work your way forward. Otherwise, the wind will get underneath there and it'll turn into a balloon and all the water and road grime will get right under your tarps and your whole load will get completely filthy dirty. And there's a bit of a language barrier, so I, don't, I tried to explain to him, but he was adamant that he was gonna do it that way, so maybe he's got a plan. I couldn't understand what his plan was. I was trying to help him out, but... I was trying not to make it sound like I was telling him what to do. I was just trying to be nice and help him out. He wants to put his tarps on backwards, he's gonna have to learn himself. As soon as he gets on the highway, it's gonna be a big balloon behind him. To be honest, when I first started tarping, my first load, I did that too. Started home. But someone came and corrected me, just like I did for this guy. Mr. Guardwine. Must be one of my viewers. Special shout out to you. You know, a red, uh, a red day cab. But uh, when I first started tarping, uh, 
when I was making mistakes, people came and corrected me too, in a nice way. And I appreciated that. That's why I tried to go and help him too. But when you can't communicate, it makes things very hard. You gotta try to use sign language and motions. Like, hey, you start here, you work here, otherwise the wind's gonna get under it and poo. I tried, I can't get my glasses clean, man. Almost ready, almost ready to go here. Okay, get this sweater off. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun. These loads, like I was telling you yesterday, they're a lot more work, right? Because they're shorter distances. But you can make just as much money if you do a lot of them in the same period that it would take a long load, right? It's just, it is a lot more work. And then it depends how you see your pay. If you see your pay, well, I gotta do more, more work for the same pay, I'd rather go further. Well, then go further. I'd rather stay close to home right now and make the same pay, even if it means a little bit more work. I've got uh, stuff going on, as you guys know. I keep talking about it. We have to uh, uh, sign papers and stuff soon for our new house. Now it's time. Just about ready to get going here. made it here to Brainerd and before I go get unloaded I'm gonna quickly fuel now because I don't know how long it's gonna take we got into town here at 8 o'clock so I'm gonna quickly grab the fuel go get unloaded just in case it takes a little bit longer this fuel stop here closes at 10 p.m. and if I can't grab fuel I can't get out of here I gotta wait till morning then and I want to go back I'm headed back to Kenora for another one tomorrow so I want to get as far back as I can tonight yet so like usual Rush, 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 rush. Let's go. Being unloaded. These are 21 foot pieces. So the machine they use to pick these up is actually pretty cool. It's a forklift that can drive forward and back or sideways to sideways. The wheels turn on it, right? So I mean, he drives in here sideways. Then he faces this. And then he drives forward with his forks, picks it up, backs up, and then his wheels turn again. And then he drives out sideways. He's got to do that because these are way too wide to get through anywhere here, right? It's pretty cool. 
I don't know if I'll get a chance to film the machine in action here yet. He's pretty quick. And I've got to clean up my bungees. I've got these and i got all these hanging on here yet. So I'm going to clean my stuff up. And uh, look at that. They're already opening the door for me over there. So once they get these last four off, I'm out of here. I'm going to start heading back to Kenora. sitting here on W900 row. I know you can't see it because it's too dark, but there's a lineup of Kenworth W900s here. We're in Deer River, Minnesota. This is where we made it. I could have made it. I had the hours to get all the way back to Canada, but we would have gotten there at like two in the morning. I could have gotten all the way up to Kenora then. Oh, when I get to Kenora at four in the morning, it's already midnight, so or almost, it's 11.30, so well, why push myself so late into the night, right? I'll just sleep here in Deer River. From here, I can get to Kenora tomorrow, get loaded, turn around, come back down to Brainerd, make it down to Brainerd tomorrow evening, and then we'll unload the following morning, and then there's supposed to be a reload that they're lining up for me to get home from there, so that's the plan. As you can see, I'm pretty tired. I'm going back there to go to sleep. Ooh, I just wanted to say thank you for hanging out. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up button, for smashing it, and for hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new here, welcome. We've been doing this for about 12 years. It's been a while. So you got a lot to catch up on. I have all of my playlists on my channel. Just click my name down below, Trucker Josh Vlogs. Go to my channel, go to my playlist. You can see all of my videos all the way back to the beginning. And you can watch them all in order. If you dare, if you have the courage and the time, that's a lot of videos. There are some of you that have done it though. If you've watched every single one of my videos, don't lie. If you've watched them all from start to finish, at least my, uh, my series that I got going on here right now, from vlog one all the way through to this one, which is what vlog, well, what are we on? Oh, I can't stop yawning. Oh, I think we're on, what, 29.13 or something? 29.12? Somewhere in there? Yeah, oh, I'm too tired to even remember. If you've watched them all, leave me a comment down below and say I have watched all of them. That's impressive if you have. I don't even know if I've watched all of them. <laughs> I made them all. I don't know. I don't think I've, I haven't watched them all. I definitely haven't watched them all. <laughs> But I lived every single one of them, so there's that. Thanks, everybody, once again. Please be safe out there. Remember, when you're out there on the highways, please think of me and drive safe. I want to get home to my family. I'll see you later. <laughs>